Banners are collectible items which drop when 50 of the same enemy has been killed. When placed, an enemy banner will provide a buff to any player standing near it. The question is, as nearly every enemy in the game can drop one, which one is the rarest? Of course, this top 5 is entirely my opinion and will be ranked on the enemies I found most difficult to farm for. Starting with 5, the Nymph Banner. Now, this placement may surprise some, but the Nymph Banner isn't actually the rarest in the game. It can quite easily be farmed for with the right setup. Here we have a basic underground enemy farm which spawns plain old underground enemies. With this alone, you can expect to see Nymphs regularly. Not to say this is still easy to get, but they are enemies which spawn at much lower rates. In fourth place is the Diabolist. Now on the surface, this just sounds like any old dungeon enemy. However, when farming for the dungeon banners, I couldn't get this to spawn anywhere. I later discovered it can only spawn against tiled dungeon walls, which is the rarest background variant in the dungeon. The world I was farming on didn't actually have any tiled walls, meaning this enemy was completely unobtainable. And as you can't actually craft dungeon wall, it's extremely hard to set up a farm for. Although once set up, you can kill 50 pretty quickly, getting there isn't as straightforward. Shared for third place is the Bride and the Groom. These two have been put together as they have identical spawn mechanics. Aside from the Bean two though, what simply makes these such hard banners to get is the fact they are Blood Moon exclusive, and within the Blood Moon are actually the rarest of spawns. On average, I will kill about 2-3 to three per full Blood Moon using this very efficient farm. On average, this will take you around 30 Blood Moons to obtain, which is extremely time consuming. In second place, we have Dr. Bones. Dr. Bones is a rare zombie variant which can only appear in the jungle at night. I found getting this banner difficult due to its low spawn rate and strict spawn criteria. Before you should even consider farming this enemy, make sure you're in a pre harbored world. There are also a bunch of other underlying factors which determines this enemy's spawn rate, such as the moon phase and weather. This is far too complicated to go through in this top 5, so I may release a video dedicated to his spawn mechanics in the future. And finally, in the number 1 spot is the Rune Wizard. To put it short, grinding for this banner will make you start to question your life choices. As you approach the ninth hour of grinding without even being halfway, you quickly start regretting the decision for collecting all the banners. On a serious note, this was by far the most challenging banner out of the lot. There are very little things you can do to increase the spawn rate of the Rune Wizard. It's just very, very rare. From my testing, the Rune Wizard's spawn rate is three times lower than Tim, which is already a crazy rare spawn. If you've made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching and please leave a like if you enjoyed. Also consider subscribing if you're new. If you're interested in seeing how I farm for these banners, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and goodbye.